One year ago, I made a video titled How to Be a Chav. Chavs nowadays are a dying breed, yeah, and I'm here to bring our movement back. In hindsight, that video was a massive mistake, as chav numbers are now surging, which means there's more chavs now than ever before. Chavs are literally everywhere, and they're always threatening me on my Snapchat as well. Nicholas on me, nah, I'm bread, mate. I'll fucking cuss you. I'm gonna shoot you, you fucking fuck. Your mum's a boiler. I'll fucking have you eat packy curry munch in Little Feet Gold, but it's your own country. I am honestly scared for my life. Just look at him. He's terrifying. You guys can see that chavs are an obvious problem. So this is types of chav, starting off with the stupid chav. I mean, it pretty much explains itself. Okay, Clark, what is two plus two? What are you thinking, Jude? A3. Oh, I'm sorry, Jude, that's the wrong answer. Well, your mum's wrong. <laughs> Come on, Jude, why are you so hellbent and making an enemy out of me? Hellbent? That's where you're going. Hell, because you're bent. <laughs> now you're just being stupid. Get out. Get out of my class. Shameful. What this world has become. I did nothing wrong and he sent me out and he called me stupid. So you know I'm not going to let him get away with that. Got a little plan up my sleeve. Just gotta wait a bit. Jude. Oh, hello, sir. Why are you standing by my car? Remember when you called me stupid, sir? Well, now I'm peeing on your car. So who's the stupid one now? Do you realize you're peeing on your own leg? Nah. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, come on, Jude. Don't make it bad. Sing a sad song and make it better. Remember Stop it! I hate that song and I hate you! Chavs really are disgusting creatures. I mean, the definition is subspecies of human. I'm being serious, that's the actual definition. But there's also the young smoker. Like, I will never understand how we see little kids smoking. It just doesn't make sense to me. My name's Chutney. And recently I've been doing a lot of research on chavs. This is Lucy, a 10 year old child and one of the UK's biggest chavs. I contacted Lucy to see if she'd be willing to have an interview with me. To my surprise, she agreed. The text saying, I ain't scared of nothing. However, she did cover her face to make sure her parents didn't know she was out past 8 p.m. She is 10 after all. Our aim with this interview was to try and put Lucy back on the right path. Hello, Lucy. Now your parents say that smoking's bad, but you actually think that's not the case. You think it's good for you. It really helps with the lungs. No, Lucy, it really doesn't. Scientists actually say that it, it kills your lungs. <laughs> oh, you mean sarcasmic? At this point of the interview, I realized this girl was a different breed. But what happened next will stay with me for the rest of my life. Oi, girl, I think it's time for you to get back in the car now, don't you think? Lucy. Who is that man? Is that your, your father? No, it's my boyfriend. My final evaluation on Lucy is to expect to see her on the Jeremy Kyle show very soon. And that takes us perfectly to the next skit. It's Jeremy Kyle, and if you've never watched that show, it's literally Chav Central. Hello and welcome to Jeremy Kyle. Today, we have more Chavs. You all right? Hi. And tell us, what is the story here? Well, our daughter is addicted to smoking, and I just want it to stop. She's not my daughter, she's yours. Don't even know why I'm here, mate. Well, I think she's your daughter. She looks just like you. Come on, man. It doesn't make any sense. The little girl is white. Wow. Let's not bring race into this. I don't want to have to get security involved. Anyways, here's a video of their daughter smoking. Oh my gosh, I can't watch it. I can't watch it. I just want to know who gave her the cigarettes. <laughs> Funny you should say that. We wondered the same thing. So we followed her and this is what we found. Can I have a cigarette, please? <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks. How could you? That's you. How could you do that? Well, how was I supposed to know that was a little kid? She was covering her face. Because she's your daughter. No, she's your daughter. Well, we currently have your daughter backstage. Come on through. Jeez. So, little girl, how long have you been smoking for? 11 years. Oh my gosh, how did I not know? Okay, and what have you got to say to that man? I think you're my dad. Ah, uh, well, that settles it. How about we end this with a nice hug? Hug her, hug her, hug her. Hug her, hug her, hug her, hug her. 
The show ended here as a child was being beaten and the security guard just watched in the background and did nothing. We caught up with them and interviewed them afterwards. I knew that show was a complete waste of time. I know what my kids look like. I've got three of them with my cousin. They're beautiful. If I'm being honest, I've got no idea if she's his daughter, but I just wanted to get on Jeremy Kyle. Hi. I was watching all of that and I just think that there's something really off of that chap. I think he's a pedo or something. Excuse uh, me, who invited you here? Could you get out, please? Ah, uh, sorry. I'll just be off. The worst thing about chavs, though, is what they've done to shopkeepers. They steal from them every day, ruining their lives. It's time someone spoke out about this. Shopkeepers from across the country are just trying to do their jobs. Gav here loves talking to his customers. You're up, bud. Alright. How's it going? How's the day been alright? Yeah, it's good, cheers. Anything else? No, sir, thanks. Just a pound then, please. Okay. Do I need to actually pay for this? But recently, Gav has been plagued by racist low-life chavs coming into his store and giving him grief. Or well, you could have some cigarettes. You've got some ID on you. Sorry, could you speak English? I said, have you got any ID on you? Oh, there's some curry on the shelf. Oi, come back with that. This just isn't right. Shopkeepers now have to hide their cigarettes to keep the chavs away. <sighs> this is what Gab the shopkeeper had to say. We need to stop these chavs, stop the racist behavior. All we're doing is trying to make a living. But we can still help Gav and stop the chav. This is the worst advert ever. I just want to say a massive shout out to this guy for letting us film in his shop and being in the video. He didn't actually want to show his face, that's why it's blurred out, but just a shout out to him and go to Green Gate News. But that's the end of the video, guys. I'm going to start letting you guys set my like goals and today is Yasmin. Could we please smash 3,000 likes? Come on, I know we can get that. Smash the like button now. And I'd just like to thank you guys for the recent support. Like, I've gained like 10k subscribers since my last upload, so it's just crazy, but... Thanks again, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. If you want to be in my videos, follow all my social medias, and every week I'll find different ways to get you guys involved in the video. So go follow all of them now. There's no choice in the matter.